everybody I'm back again with another vlog and today I'm gonna be exploring the Morningside Heights neighborhood right in uptown New York right by Harlem I've never been here but I heard a lot of good things about it a lot of beautiful architecture and stuff so I'm gonna explore around guys so join me so one of the main attractions of this neighborhood is Columbia University one of the famous universities here in New York City and they got some beautiful architecture I've seen it in the movies but I've never been here so this is like my first time down walking around the university This is the university here, the beautiful buildings, like the main plaza over here. Kind of like Washington Square Park, but this one is like more private. It's pretty huge, you know, they got some beautiful architecture here, so it's nice to walk around and explore. So walking around this area kind of reminds me a little bit of the rocky stairs in Philadelphia. Like the stairs like this in the old historic buildings. But this is like here in New York City, right by Harlem. So it's like a different world, right? And a few blocks down, it's a different vibe. But that's one good thing about New York City, how the street changes. You know, when you go for different blocks, everything changes. Now, so walking around here, it feels like you're walking through a little town, but this is in the middle of the city. And it brings me memories when I used to study in college. It kind of brings me back when I was like 22 years old or in my late teens in university. So, you know, it gets you like a little vibe, so it's really cool. <laughs> Walking around here kind of makes me feel like I'm in, in, in the Independence Hall in Philadelphia. Like the same style, you know, the cobblestones in the streets, the old buildings by the side. So, you know, it resembles a little bit of Philly. So that was a nice little walk around the university. Now I'm going to walk toward the right side because there's a beautiful cathedral St. John which I've seen it in pictures but I've never seen it, seen it in person so I'm gonna walk around to see how the cathedral looks like so far I'm loving the neighborhood even though it's not too big but I'm loving the neighborhood you know it's like peaceful it's like beautiful buildings pretty much residential and the university here and yeah it's like a really nice vibe and there's a park here not too far the Morningside Park which I've never been so I'm gonna walk around and explore the park also but Let's see what the neighborhood has to offer too. This over here to my left side is the cathedral. Really beautiful, you know, it's a beautiful cathedral, a huge structure. I'm not sure, but it might be bigger than St. Patrick's in Midtown Manhattan, so yeah. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris, but yeah, the structure is really, really beautiful. So yeah, it's always good to get out of the downtown and go uptown or other regular neighborhoods in New York City to explore around. I gotta tell you, like uh, over here it feels a little bit chilly and a little bit windy. So that's why I'm wearing the hoodie on top of me. Like yesterday it was cold and today's a little bit warmer about all of the sudden it got a little bit chillier. But that's how it is in November, you know, bipolar weather. And then so far, I'm loving the streets around here in this part, morning side. Like I love the architecture here in the buildings. Like look, like a lot of old buildings here, apartment complex. And a lot of buildings here in Uptown, they pretty much look like this, you know, they're like old buildings, but they preserve them pretty good, you know, so it's pretty much like a residential area. And then this street behind me is Broadway, which is one of the longest streets in the whole world, which it goes from all the way from Uptown, all the way to Battery Park, all the way downtown in New York City. So it's passing right here from Morningside, Queens. I mean, morning side of Manhattan, so really cool. Another thing I noticed also is that around here, the neighborhood has hills. Like it goes up in the hill, so right in front of me, it goes downhill, and there must be a park over there in Hudson Rivers and the other side, so I'm gonna walk around to see what's happening around there. Behind me is the street Riverside Drive. There's a park right there, and then on the other side of the park is the Hudson River. And then on the other side of Hudson River is New Jersey, so really beautiful neighborhood around here, you know, with amazing views, really good to walk around, so yeah, pretty cool. So I'm over here, and as you can see, there's a hill, and people can walk down there and the river, but I don't think I'm gonna try to go there because pretty much you guys already have an idea of what the parks in New York City looks like. But it's pretty much, I guess it's pretty much a little similarity with Fort Tryon Park and Inwood Hill Park. It pretty much connects because it goes all the way uptown. 
I'm gonna try to make my way to another park here in New York City that's pretty local. It's called the Morningside Park. It's not too bad, but I've seen pictures of it. And it looks pretty interesting. It's like in a hill. It has a little lake and stuff. So we're gonna go explore it and see what it looks like. So this is the Morningside Park right behind me. So I'm gonna walk around there and explore and see what the park has to offer to so join me. Like I say, the park is not that big, but it looks pretty interesting. The first thing you notice is in the middle of a hill. Good thing I'm going down, I'm not hiking up, but <laughs> still a good workout. So I see a lot of trees and stuff in the middle of a residential area. So this is what you see. Pretty beautiful. So I'm gonna walk around and see what can I find. Here I go again, more stairs than I'm going, but like I say, lucky I'm coming from uphill, so it's easier for me to go down. Imagine if I was climbing it, which I wouldn't mind. Maybe one day I'll just come climb it, go up, down, and that's a perfect workout for, you know, for your body, and maybe for my legs, because my legs are like really skinny. <laughs> so it could be like a good workout, you know. Park is really beautiful. I love this park here with the rocks and the lake over there. It feels like you're somewhere else, like in a zoo or something. So yeah, really beautiful. And a lot of people going on with their lives, you know, playing baseball, basketball. And this is an election day, so pretty peaceful over this area. Oh, it's crazy. Even in this little park, you could go hiking pretty much like Inwood Hill. Like I said, it's a little park, so if you see here, apartment complex, then you go over the hill, more buildings, so it's like in the middle of all this residential area. So you can do a little bit of everything, hiking, get a little bit of peace, you know, walk around. So it makes the park pretty interesting. And another crazy thing is that it is already daylight saving. So it's like 420, so in about 30, 40 minutes, it's gonna be dark outside. That's the only thing that sucks about this daylight savings. But gotta do what you gotta do right so that was the end of my blog i hope you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned for more be safe out there everybody and peace